Yeah. Uh, you know, I thought we got out to a good start that first quarter, and you know, I thought, uh, you know, Rice in that second quarter, uh, they got really, really comfortable. Jackson hurt us. Jackson hurt us in that first half. I thought she got downhill, got what she wanted. We didn't do a good job containing the dribble. And, um, you know, they, uh, you know, Rice, Rice makes it made their free throws. They got to the free throw line. But again, for us, we take 19 more shots and lose by 10 at home. We scored 59 points. That's a big problem. Um, I thought Ave, Ave did a really, really good job. I thought we tried to involve her in a lot of stuff because they switch so many screens and we got her open and she finished. But um, we uh, 25 for 69, 36%. Take, take Ave seven for nine out of there and you're 18 for no bueno, 18 for, 18 for 60, the rest of the team. That's a big problem. Um, you know, I thought I thought uh, Barnett came off the bench and really hurt us. Uh, very similar to what Duncan did from North Texas, coming in here and going four for four. Um, and she hadn't hit a three in six, seven games. But again, all the shots she took were wide open shots, and she knocked them down. You know, there were a lot of times where we got some wide open shots, and they didn't fall for us. Um, and we got to have short-term memory, come back tomorrow and get ready for Temple. But this was a great opportunity, you know, for us, three out of the next four at home and coming off winning three in a row. Um, uh, that's a game you got to get. You got to get this at home. And that's what we've always done in the past, especially in this league, is protect our home floor. Um, so, questions? Talked in the beginning of the season, you really hadn't found that person, the go-to person on offense. Have you found it yet? Well, I, I thought, you know, when UAB made that run, I think, uh, you know, Vicky made a couple big shots in that fourth quarter, and Ava got a put back. Um, we got to find a way, you know, we've always had. We got our wings. Got to do a much better job getting to the free throw line. You know, we got we got guys that are really good shooters in mid range, and we don't get to the line. You know, we've had a lot of. If you look at our offensive rebounding numbers, one thing that are that has been a big point. Uh, the our we averaged thirty nine rebounds a game. That's our. 39 rebounds a game, that's our lowest total in the last 14, 15 years. So uh, why is that? Oh, we, we, our guards got to go get stuff more. They don't get stuff enough. That's been a problem all year. And that's all about desire and going to get stuff off the glass, you know, because people ain't doing a different thing that they've done against us as far as blocking us out. But... Um, so to go back and that if we need a basket perimeter wise we're going to go to Vicky or Romy and you know today I thought in that third quarter we got Ave involved and she finished right but we're just trading baskets trading baskets we'd score they come down and score they hit a three we hit a two just went back and forth return serve back and that's uh, that hasn't been you know, that hasn't been our program. Coach, on offense, it looks like if you ran your sets and you were patient, you got exactly what you wanted. Was it shot selection or just trying to take too much too soon? Or? No, I thought when we ran stuff, we got we got good shots. You know, that wasn't the issue. You know, the bottom line is, you know what? You got to get down and defend and stop your guy. Because we played, how many games we played, Andrew? What are we now? 14 and what? 14 and 10? 14 and 10. So we played 24 games. There's a lot of film out. People know who to attack. People know who to go after. People know who to pick on. Because they see tape, they watch tape. 
people know who don't block out, you know, or who doesn't don't like physicality too, you know. So, you know, and the good teams that really do a good that are well coached and scout and players that watch a lot of film and pick up on that, they're gonna defend better and they're gonna attack certain guys. You know. So that's a credit to them. They 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 went at some certain folks and they got what they wanted. That's what this game's all about. Yeah, like you guys wanted to push the pace, start the second half. Yeah, we wanted to push the pace, Derek, but you know what? Our wings wouldn't, you know, our wings didn't want to run. So if you don't run, you don't put the pressure on the defense, right? If your post players don't rim run, now teams don't have to defend from inside to outside. I watch that film, I'll watch it tonight, or we, we jog, we don't sprint out ahead. So we we can never pitch ahead to somebody. How many times have we been able to pitch ahead to one of our wings this year and they can catch it and go to the rim with it? No. So. Did they only run so many times and the other team made 10 shots in a row, I guess that was. Yeah, that's tough. Because you're getting it out of the net every time. Well, it's one, number one's not containing the dribble and keeping the ball in front of you. Two, you know, on the baseline drive, if you don't help outside the lane, you're going to give up a layup. But then, if you don't have really good midline and to adjust to where the next pass is going, that's what happened. Yeah. Uh, Coach, despite the loss, uh, what did you like seeing from your team tonight? Hmm, that's a tough question. I think we'll move on to the next one. The uniforms are nice. And it was a special day, right? National Girls and Women's and Sports Day and celebrating our our, uh, our fight against cancer because it's affected everybody, right? Family, friends, loved ones. So, so, so very. Uh, I don't want to take uh, away the importance of this day, you know, and let, let the loss take away from this day, you know, because I think we celebrate a lot of very good things today. Coach, did you know Tay? Yeah. Yes, I did. Yep. Can you talk a little bit about Well, what would you like to know? She was a wonderful person. You know. Good coach, good person. Good coach, good person. Treated people the right way. Players loved her. Players played hard for her. But, you know, she brought a lot of awareness. And, you know, as you guys know, I'm very involved with the WBCA as the vice president. And um, that's her charity of choice. So, thank you. Thank you. Um, I think it was kind of just like the flow of the game and um, it's kind of like Jose gives me the chance a couple times every game and once I start making them you know you get more you get more and I was feeling it from from this morning let's just say that like I was feeling good love the pink game um, so I was looking forward to, to playing rice again and um, I felt good and that's then my layups go in when I'm comfortable so that's kind of like how the game developed for me personally for the both of you the last place you want to be is right here, right now. What's going through your mind after that game? I mean, it's been, it's it's been. Um, kind of a I think we need. We, yes, it has been a roller coaster, and um, obviously we don't want to be where we're at right now. But we are definitely not not done and out. So, um, coach made very clear that we have to think about the next and, and move on short term memory. So that's what we're going to try and do and come back tomorrow and prepare for the next one and, and keep battling because everybody's going to beat each other up in this co in this league. So we don't know what's going to happen. We can only control what we can for right now. Yeah, I agree with Hayes. Like we just have to focus on the next one. That's the only thing that we can do. Work harder because they I think they play harder than us. Because usually like like we took more shot than them. So that was no 
they probably like they just play harder and we have to work harder and think about the next one. The game started off pretty well. You guys were ahead. Uh, did you feel a comfort zone? Did you kind of know the rights that it was eventually going to get going? I mean, it's a game of runs. We we start off hot. We, some days we don't start off hot. Um, I um, I knew they were going to come. They were not going to just let up and, and, and roll over. So I knew they were going to come back for it. Um, I wish we, we would have been able to put up a, a bigger fight in the second half, but you know, that's what it is for now. And yeah. I'm going to pick you up, though. I think you guys were both at the men's game last night. <laughs> yeah. I was sleep, honestly. Oh, I got okay. <laughs> 9 a p.m. was a little past my bedtime. <laughs> no, a lot of the team went. Yeah, what do you yeah. Guys yeah. Think, what do you guys think about the way they're going? I think that was a ma an amazing game. Like they were down, and then they just like came up and like won the game. And they, like I wish that happened tonight. <laughs> the boys have been absolutely awesome. It's yeah. been great to see that program flourish uh, under a new head coach. So um, we're supporting them the way they're supporting us always. So it's very good to see. I mean, you wouldn't mind if both made the NCAA tournament. That's what I'm hoping. That's what we're going for. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.